we're going to look at how to edit a family. If you look carefully at these uh, CMU in this wall section, in my opinion, the line weights are too heavy on the inner core. It's part of a wall assembly and I think those line weights should be lighter. So uh, what we're going to do is look at editing that family. Now, as a repeating uh, component, we can't edit it right there, but if we insert that component, I go to annotate component and insert a single instance of that block and it's under CMU two core section uh, 2 by 2 by 4 and I'm just going to float it in here beside and so I've got a single instance of that CMU component or, uh, uh, inserted and now I'm going to uh, change it. I don't like those line weights so I'm going to edit it. Rather than redraw one I'm going to edit it. So I select on uh, the entity and there is a button up at the top that says edit family. Now when you do edit a family it doesn't let you overwrite that existing family it only saves as another name so you can't change that so that's a good thing it keeps all existing components as they are but any edits that you make will be saved as a new name so that's fine I'm gonna go edit family it takes me into the family editor and I can turn off my line weights if I want just to pick things uh, cleanly and what I've got are some boundaries here I've got if, if I pause my cursor on here you can read it says detail items filled region so that is a detail filled region if I pause on this inner one that is a masking region so that's how these hatches don't show in the open core but they show on the side so you can get a feel for how this uh, component family was was created all I want to do is change line weights so I'm gonna pick this outer perimeter click on it and say edit boundary okay so we're gonna edit that boundary now it is it's made up of four lines and I want to change those four lines so I'm gonna select all four of them I'm just holding my control key picking those four lines of the boundary the top bo and bottom lines would be the mortar joint edges the outer edges would be the edge of the CMU on the outside and you can see those were defined as heavy lines and not until I have selected those edges I don't get this opportunity to change them now that they're selected I want to change them one step lighter to medium lines okay and say OK to that. Now let's turn our line weights back on. Uh, you can see now these perimeter lines were done properly uh, in my opinion as medium line weights. Let's do the same with this inner mask boundary line. We click on the boundary, we say edit boundary, and now I'm going to highlight the two lines on the side which still are shown as heavy. The top and bottom look OK, those are mediums already, so I'm going to click that and change it to medium lines and say OK. OK? So that, it doesn't look right here, but this that's the editing that we need. Now I'm going to save this. And if I just go up and pick Save, it won't let me save without going to a Save As. And you see up here it's gone to a Save As only. And I'm going to, you can see I've already been working in this, I'm, I'm going to just take this name and for simplicity purposes right now, I'm just going to add my initials to that so GW dash okay so I've just so I made a new set of CMU and when I say save uh, it already exists because I had done this while I was practicing so I'm gonna say save the first time you do it it will be a new name so it'll be done and now I'm gonna load it to the project so when I load this to the project it says what project well I've got one project open here it's some student work and say okay to that so now I had it already installed. I've got it loaded to the project. Now you'll notice nothing has changed here because we were not able to edit an existing name. But what I'm going to do now is go to this core, uh, this uh, multiple component installation of the CMU, and I'm going to go edit type, and instead of the M CMU, 200 by 400. I'm going to scroll up and you will see there's a whole new category now of GW CMU products. Because I entered, uh, edited that one, it changed the entire family of all sizes to give a duplicate of the GW version. And so I'll go down to the size I want, which is uh, 200 by 200 by 400 right here. And I'm going to say OK to that. And you watch the change. 
there it is. So now you can see the old one out on the side and see the new one. With very little work, I was able to get now a wall section or a detail that reads, in my opinion, much better. If you recall, we had those components visible in a detail callout. So let's go to that detail and you will see that they have automatically been adjusted to the new version because we overrode the instances of the, the existing CMU was overridden with the GW CMU. And so it's already updated even though that's not a live part of the model. That was a copied entity, but it replaced all instances of that. And so you get a detail that reads uh, really well. You can apply that to many other instances where you see things that you like that they're built and you have something to work with, but you can certainly edit it and give it uh, a new unique name.